Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you thanks for another day of life. Another day that we can appreciate how gracious you are unto us. Because even yesterday, dear Lord, you showed us just a glimpse of how hot things can get. And we know that this heat is nothing incomparable to that place where the ungodly shall abide forever. So we are hoping that these signs that you have given us are, or are giving us and are going to give us will turn us from committing evil and to actually seek you, actually look to these things as warnings and not as just um, freak of nature um, incidents, but as warnings that we have but a short time with this mortality to get right with you. And it's not your will, it's not your pleasure that any should per perish, but that all should come to repentance. So as I pray this this morning, dear Lord, all those who are here and all those who are in need of it, I just pray that we come to godly sorrow and we repent of our sins and turn unto you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you to wash us and clean us and to purify us so that we can be accounted as faithful servants, as useful vessels of your Holy Spirit. So as we read your word this morning, as always, I just pray for edification for the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding which you alone can give. And I pray that we are of all one mind in you, Lord Jesus Christ, there, that there be no schism nor discord for any such thing. For all of us who read these things of yours, that we do not lean on our own understanding, but come to you, the author and finisher of our faith, who have left us this thing. And as always, that... You continue with us in this life to help us through our tests and trials that we do not faint nor break nor fail or anything of that of that sort but that we overcome all things by the faith that we have in you that in the day that you do return we shall be with you forevermore and we also every single day we pray for our children the young ones that they are grown up in the way of truth, in the knowledge of who you are. So when they are of age, they shall not depart from you. Help us, dear Lord, and prosper us in this life to do your will. And we just thank you this morning for everything. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. All right. So Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7 says, Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. Yesterday, somebody shared something about peace, right? There's artificial peace and there's true peace, right? And I believe I was speaking about this even a few weeks ago. And the person was pretty much saying the same thing um, about peace. Right? There is an artificial peace which the world gives. And there is true peace which the Lord Jesus Christ gives. Right? Um, numbing ourselves to things in this life um, doesn't necessarily bring us peace. It might bring us a, a, a pause in whatever things you are going through. But um, it's not true peace if God is not involved in it, right? And as I said, the, the, the peace of this world is, 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 is temporary, right? That's why even Jesus Christ said, my peace, I believe he was saying, um, he was speaking to his disciples somewhere in one of the Gospels where he said, my peace I live, leave unto you, not as the world give do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Right. And he went on just to expound on that um, on that point. So, again, this is reiterating that same thing. If we if it's saying be careful for nothing, that means 
And if you think about it logically, anytime we start getting anxious is when we start worrying and we start um, overthinking on things or um, actually thinking um, that we are in control of everything. We're, we're not, right? And that is plain to see. Um, I don't know who in this world is in control of everything. I believe no one is, right? Even if they think so. It's by God's permission that you even can do what you can do, right? So when he said be careful for nothing, he actually means be careful for nothing because we can't, as one scripture would say, we can't make one of our hairs on our head white. We can't add one measure to our stature. We can't do these least things, right? So why should we worry on the other things? And don't get me wrong, it's easier said than done right um especially when you're going through it i'm not here to belittle anybody's struggles it is it, it is a test it's a test so it's, it's you know, you're gonna encounter difficulties but that's why the scripture went on to say but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto god right so when we're battling through these things so try to think that you have the power to endure of your own self right it said but, right, in everything, in prayer, right? That's why the scripture also um, tells us to pray without ceasing because we're going to continuously be faced with these things in this life. But through prayer and, th and supplication, with thanksgiving, let our requests be made known unto God. And that supplication part, yeah, we definitely, sometimes, well, we'll say we fall short on that. You're not being earnest enough, right? Just saying a one prayer and just leaving it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that is the case. But sometimes you have to press in, right, into that prayer and um, be reverent in that you, you, you're actually seeking the face of the Lord for um, an answer or for some kind of solution for that problem, right? And not to neglect to give him thanks through and um, yeah through the thing and even when the thing is accomplished because and when i say give thanks don't just give thanks when you think that you get what you want right sometimes the lord knows best and he, he won't give you what you pray for because it wouldn't be for your better for your betterment right so if in those things ask for wisdom of your stick and sometimes we have to step back and say all right lord i see why you never gave me that because this and that and this and that right and you can give thanks in that same way because he was able to to trump your prayer in that he gave you what was best for you ultimately even if you couldn't have noticed or seen it in the time you pray for wisdom and understanding and you give him thanks when you come to terms with what he actually was doing in the grand scheme of things right and it said, the peace of God, which I started off and spoke about, I started off and talked about the artificial peace. And this is now the true peace. The peace of God is the true peace. It says it's passing all understanding, right? Anything that you could think that you comprehended. As I said, when you get the wisdom, understanding and, um, and knowledge from God, this is what is going to give you true peace. You're going to like, all right, it all makes sense, right? If I suffer for Christ's sake, it makes sense now. It don't mean that I just there battling for no reason. I know why I'm battling. I know why I'm suffering for Christ's sake. I know why I have to endure. I know why I have to persevere. I know why I have to overcome. I know why I have to show the love of God throughout all situations. I know why I have to show the light of God in the, this dark world. All things start to make sense, right? And that will give you that peace that surpasses all understanding. Right, and it shall keep our hearts and our minds through and by and for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right, so yeah, I'll leave it at that this morning. Um, comments are welcome, um, or questions you can email them in to the email address in the description. Um, the word at each reach one dot org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. All right. So have a blessed day, everyone. And God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.